Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going on an overnighter this weekend, so I thought I'd walk you guys through my pack list. So first things first, I have my bike. It is a Monet La Roca, which I built up last year. I made a video about this not that long ago. I will put it up here if you wanna check that out. For bags and things that I'm going to carry stuff with, in the front, I am running a Bags by Bird gold back size large. This is a bag I had made custom for my Crust Bombora. I've used it on almost all of my bikepacking trips and it is a fantastic and reliable bag. Highly recommend Bags by Bird. I also have a Topeak top tube bag where I put like snacks and smaller items. And on the back, I am running a Rockgeist Armadillo dry bag protector on a Tumbleweed T-Rack. For my sleep system, I am sleeping in a tent and it is the Big Agnes Fly Creek 2 for bike packing. I bought this tent maybe four or five months ago and I've slept about 10 nights in it and I really like it so far. I haven't had any issues with it. It's I've kind of got the setup dialed in. At some point, I might do a long term review. If you want to see something like that, please let me know in the comments below. Inside of the tent, I just picked up this new piece of gear. It is a closed cell foam pad from Rockgeist. It's called the Rockgeist Animalist. I actually have a Gossamer Gear Thin Light Pad that's a fourth of an inch. This is a tiny bit smaller and I'm super excited to try it out. It keeps my sleeping pad from slipping around and it adds a little bit of warmth. For a sleeping pad, I have the Thermarest Pro Light. This thing is giant and bulky and super comfortable. This is my sleeping pad of choice for now. I'm always looking for new things to try. I know a lot of people love Thermarest and like the Uber light pads and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I could deal with how much noise they make. This is pretty silent, which I really, really like because I toss and turn in my sleep. And for my sleeping bag, I have an Enlightened Equipment Enigma. It is a 30 degree quilt. I've had this for about four years now and I use it on all of my trips. I don't do super cold weather camping, so this is really perfect. I store it in a Z-Pax dry bag, which I think is like two and a half, two and a half liters. So the quilt and the sleeping pad get stuffed into the gold back, and I think they're really happy there. I'm also bringing my Sea to Summit Eros pillow, the tried and true. I've used this on a lot of different bikepacking trips and a lot of camping trips. However, I also picked up a Nemo Philo Elite Luxury. This came in the mail today. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm really excited to use it. Just like feeling it, it feels like an actual pillowcase, which is very exciting because this feels like you're sleeping on a really nice plastic bag. It works, but it's not like sleeping on a really nice pillow. They're both really small though, so. We'll see, you may see this one in later videos. I also always bring some fairy lights to put in my tent because headlamps can be a little bit abrasive and I like to read in the tent at night. So this is a really nice soft light to have in your tent and they're really cheap too. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to bring this giant book with me on the trip. It's Detransition Baby, which I just started. A lot of people have recommended this book to me and I'm really excited to keep reading it. It's just about as heavy as my sleeping pad and perhaps almost as bulky. I'm thinking about buying a Kindle for camping trips. Do you guys bring Kindles on your bikepacking trips? If you do, let me know if you like that in the comments below. I'm thinking of taking the plunge and trying it, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. So I'm curious to hear what other people's experiences are. For a cook system, I have a Jetboil Zip. I used to have a ton of Tokes titanium stoves, which I ended up selling because there's nothing that boils water faster than a jet boil. I haven't needed something super ultra light for a while since I've been injured and I haven't been able to bike pack. So I decided to pick up jet boil. And so far I'm really happy with it. It's really simple. I just use it to boil water and I keep it in the wide foot leader cage at the bottom of my bike. It's probably not the safest place to store it, but I haven't figured out where else I could put it. So, so we'll see, hopefully it doesn't get destroyed on this trip. Adding to the cook system, I have a Sea to Summit collapsible bowl with this nice little screw on lid that if you have leftovers, you can keep them protected. So this just pops out like this. It's a nice little bowl. 
if it's very snugly right on top of my quilt and my sleeping pad. Another new little piece of gear that I just picked up is the Tokes Titanium Foldable Spork, which a lot of you guys recommended. And so I just picked this up this week and I'm really excited to use it. I had before an MSR folding spork, which is plastic and it's really, really small and really light. So I'm excited to have something perhaps a little bit heavier, but maybe a little bit more durable. So. Another piece of gear that I'm bringing is this model water bottle. It's this Instagram company that reached out to me and asked if I would try it. So I'm gonna bring it on this trip. It's a little bit smaller than an algae bottle. It's a little bit heavier. It comes with a hose like a camelback. So I'm gonna try it out this trip and see if I like it. I'm also bringing this nice mirror coffee mug that Black Coffee Roasting Company sent to me for the Swift Campout Sweepstakes, which if you haven't watched that unboxing video, you should go check it out now. But this cup is a little bit heavier than say like your average like ultralight camping cup, but it's really nice because it feels like an actual coffee mug because it's a little bit heavier in your hands and it keeps everything a bit warmer, which will be nice since it's gonna be like 50 degrees in the morning. I've also got this black diamond headlamp that replaced my really cheap Amazon headlamp. And I have to say that I'm really happy with this headlamp. It works really nicely. So that's about all the gear that I'm bringing this week. I didn't include clothes or toiletries because I didn't get my shit together in time to make this video. And so I don't have any of that organized and I will probably do it the morning that I leave. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. And if you liked this video and you wanna see more, please like and subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Okay.